about what was going on. <clears throat> you know? About a nigga socking you in your shit? Like, if I'm arguing with a man, like, he talking about something, and he got his hand cocked back, <laughs> I'm definitely telling you to come in, like, and telling you to make trying to hit me. So, like, the son shooting him, like, is kind of, like, I don't know, to me, it makes sense, like, you know? Yeah, it makes sense. I mean, if your mother texted you and was, like, was arguing with a man, like, like, and you had a gun and y'all was about that shit, it's like, would y'all, would you do it? Would you shoot him? Because he's... But the literally, he's beating, and like he didn't shoot him until he started beating her. The dog shit out of him, if anything. So like, I just feel like it's like justified a little bit that part. I mean, it is kind of Welcome justified. Welcome to Blase Network. Damn, like, I can't even fathom it. Um, uh, uh, somebody like just swinging, just swinging that hard on a woman, like exactly. I can't even fathom being in that type of situation. So I can't be like, oh, it's wrong that he, that he shot him, because like her, he's watching his mother get beat up in the store, mm. and he got that, he got that thing on him, so. <laughs> that thing on him. And he didn't. He thing. shot him in the back. Like he didn't shoot him in like. No, you know, you shot him in the back. You going to jail? Like that's the yeah. thing. Like you can't be shooting people in the back. But he like, gonna go. The other man gonna go to jail too. Can you have me the order? For the assault. Yeah, that's he got caught in four K. He was he, he was. Well, ele- the 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 charges are getting dropped against her and her, her the mother and the the mother and the son and because just, of the video that just got released. Because I guess like new ev- it says new evidence. Like the charges will be dropped against them. That's crazy. But people were saying it's messed up. It's messed up that he's that he's gonna go to jail. The one that was beating up the lady. But I mean, like, why would you beating her up? Like y'all was arguing over food. Nobody don't know why. I don't. I don't know why. I don't know if nobody knows why, but. The stuff that I was reading about, it just says that they were arguing at the restaurant, and then it's that short clip of that of what in the, of him being like. I do you think it was like some skipping the line type of thing? I don't know, but I just don't. I can't imagine anything going on in at a restaurant. But somebody that would cause me to really go go out and like. But I've never punched nobody like that. I can't even. <laughs> I, I can't even admit that I punched somebody like that. And it wasn't even like no, like oh, they got a steak or something. Like they was at like a corner restaurant, like selling like soul food. Like, <laughs> in the trenches, fighting <laughs> over that. They didn't fake, have no seats in there. Fighting over that fake Asian <laughs> chicken that they've been serving y'all for t- ten years. Like, you cut the line, mother. Say I won't go get your food. That's crazy. Like he was already about to, already about to knock her out before he even said he was about to knock her out. Bro, whoever that, bro, whoever his girl is, you, 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 you're, you're a victim. <laughs> you're a victim, shorty. I hope you know that, cause like that's not his first time hitting somebody, hitting a female like that. We want to see your Instagram. So and don't is she she probably got one of them Instagrams where she haven't posted because she her face healing. <laughs> She's been posting memes like bruh, like yeah. He needs to go to jail ASAP. At least at least seven. Ooh, at least which one? the one that was punching on oh, that yeah. girl like that. Bruh, I don't know. All right, we need to. I, I'm, I need to. I need to. I need to. I need to confess. To 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 the to whoever listens to this, you see how I'm looking right now. Oh, did you did you say hi? Oh, I ran the intro. Let me run the let me let me let me run the. Uh, I'm gonna do that if I say this. You see how I'm looking right now? It is June twenty. It's June twenty eighth, twenty twenty three at nine thirty p.m. By next this time by next year, I want to look like this. <laughs> AKA Thor. Everybody know it's gonna get in there. This is what I'm trying to look like. I just want the long hair. <laughs> and I mean, I guess I already got the beard. I'm not. I don't want. I don't want it to be gold. 
I'm cool. I'm cool keeping a black thing. Mm-hmm. But I just want to look like Thor for this winter time. I just want to be like, oh, it was a cold winter. <laughs> That's just how I want to look. You know what I mean? Just like I don't know. Maybe I'm 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 evolving into something. What you think? I don't know what this. I don't know what this phase is. I don't know, but I just gotta. It's just Thor. Like your hair is never gonna look like Thor. It's really not. Never. I told you because you're not a white man. Your hair is not gonna be straight. <laughs> Comment below if you know somebody that can do a perm, that can get me, Thor. Um, I'm gonna keep growing my hair out. She want me to look like Brent Fires. I didn't say I want you to look like Brent Fires. I said you were going to look like Brent Fires. That's how compared to Thor. I said that's how your hair is gonna look like Brent Fires hair, not like Thor's hair. Well, a black man. Or can... like um. Who? What's the What's the guy from Southside? The mayor, well, he's not the mayor. The alderman? <laughs> oh, my God. Except your, 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 your lineup going to be better than his. <sighs> they was doing them dirty on that. Yeah. They had to record that all in one week. When the, that was a bad <laughs> week for him when he got that haircut. And that, that's crazy, man. I don't know why. I don't know why it's so different. Is it just because I'm black? They even got different hair textures. Whatever it is. Just like not every girl here texture the same. Nobody texture the same. This texture right here. <clears throat> Let me get a shot ski. This episode is brought to you by Jose Cuervo. The only, the one and the only. This is the first shot of the night, and now is the time. I'm sorry, I'm not too loud. And now is the time where I roll the intro. Straight up. I don't know whether, I hope it's playing the sound. I don't think it's playing the sound. Oh, yes, it is. Let's go, baby. I don't care. Welcome back. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Welcome back to the Blase Show, the $20 million show, um, the $20 million weekly show that comes to you every week, every week with the latest, greatest, and best debaters. And but the master, the clean plate. But I never. Pfft, I'm sorry. I was about to start freestyling. But uh, this is the Blase Show. Uh, last week you did not see us, and I think the week before they didn't see us because. I want to blame OBS. Um, I'm not blaming myself because I it's not my fault that I didn't know how to work the encoder and all this for my footage. Now, I messed up a whole interview that I had. If and if you're watching this, go watch the other interview I just did with CJ and Licks. Licks, whatever he like, he's, he calls himself Elixir now. Like they gonna be changing that name or whatever. But that's that's a cool name. I like the name change or whatever. But yeah, back to OBS. <laughs> um, yeah, this is ridiculous. Uh, we have te technical difficulties on the set, and the footage was bad. We couldn't use it. Hopefully, this is better. Um, we're going to see how this long footage is going to go. This is kind of a test run. We can call it a test run. Wagonator is not on the ones and twos. She's just in the crowd. Uh, you want to clap with the you want to clap with the applause? Yeah, that's her in the crowd, baby. That's right in the crowd right there. All right, all right, everybody be quiet. All right, everybody. All right, all right, all right, all right. Come, come, come. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to have to kick you out, girl. All the people back there. But, um, yes, this is the Blaza Show, and we are tuned back into it. And I know one thing. I did not watch the BET show at all. I'm just going to freestyle it and just... No, I'm not going to freestyle it because... I do know I do know one thing that I was very I knew I felt I'm sorry, let me restart. I didn't watch the BET show. The only part that I did salvage to watch was the Chief Keith performance. The only reason I felt obligated as a Sosa baby, FBG 
four, 300 band gang um, as a glory boy, as I like to call myself. Uh, it was it was a monumental moment to see uh, Sosa, the Sosa baby himself, back on the BET stage after the great and beautiful video of him swearing, not uh, him cursing, um, cursing, cursing out BET because they banned him. I don't know um, for whatever reason. I don't remember why they banned him. I just it was just I don't know why they banned him. But it's good. I think Tyler Perry did buy it, right? The Tyler mm -hmm. Perry buy. It? So that Tyler Perry brought it, and I guess the first order of business was book Chief Keith, and um, mission accomplished. And I feel like that's the only thing that the BT awards. So I really don't really think about the awards or anything, because that's all flabby nabby fabby, really to me. Um, I did see how Lotto got the best female rap award over Nicki Minaj and like Cardi B. And I'm like, she had she had to rub somebody off, if you know what I mean. Mm -mm. I don't know, them barbs, they, they, they probably they probably was at work. They probably couldn't they probably couldn't vote for it or something. <laughs> they they probably that's probably why they had to win. All, all them barbs, they done grown up. They they got them kids. They can't be they can't be on BT.com voting. That's why a lot of won. Yeah, but I don't know because like, like it. The bars are it is a big fan base, but a lot of people don't like Nicki Minaj, and she's not really as relevant as Lotto. Yeah, that she. I think she won that shit just off the rip me off the plastic. Yeah, cabin. <laughs> but she also like she's been had like a lot of songs that people like a lot of trending songs like this year. Mm. So a lot of things on TikTok. Mm -hmm. This has been like Bruh, for now. You know, you know the the point that I that I knew she was about to win the award mm -hmm. was when it was a video of uh, like a whole bunch of women in the club, like with plastic bags on their head, and it was like fit <laughs> me out the plastic. And they, it was like it was like twelve. It was like twelve grown adult females in the club, ripping grocery bags, Target, Walmart sponsors everywhere. <laughs> And it's just crazy. Like I would never imagine. And and I thought I, I, at the at the club thing, I thought we topped it at bringing the dead man to the club. But the ripping myself out the plastic, you know, the how many how many plastics I saw being ripped. It was like three of them that didn't get ripped. So they I I don't know what happened to them. Are they suffocating on the floor? They couldn't rip the bag. We'll never know. We'll never know. But um, shout out to Lotto for for letting that. For I was just on the phone with her. She was like, she's like, Chris. <laughs> Never mind. I don't even. I don't even know where I'm headed with this. Well, I'm just. I just cannot stop looking at my hair right now. Why? Cause I look like I lost my mind. <laughs> I look like I look. I should zoom it in some more. That's the. Re I feel like that's the reason why I zoomed it out. So I wouldn't be so focused on my hair, but. This thing is so clear on here. I can see the the I'm not guys, I'm not I'm not poor. I'm not homeless. I'm not pandling. I'm not down bad on my luck, guys. I'm just I I'm I'm trying to get the I'm just, like I do I gotta pull it up? Is this what I'm trying this this is <laughs> this is this is what I'm aiming for. This is this is this is why. This is what I'm trying to get. That's why I, I'm, but I need to get a shape up. You know, Thor got a shape up. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Thor got a shape up. I mean, do you think so? I don't know. Well, Thor, white men don't get don't get shape ups. What? White men. White men? Yes, they just be leaving their shit regular. Siri. <laughs> do white men get shape yes. ups? Oh. Do white men get shape ups? Like they don't, they might get like their sideburns, but like white men be having like this just regular. That's crazy. And especially the ones with long hair, they do not get get it shaped up. Now that I'm thinking about it, I can't think of. And that's they a wigger. No, I guess Michael, <laughs> Michael from middle, Michael from Pikesville, you probably a wigger. <laughs> he definitely had the Justin Bieber cut with the hairline. I never seen that. <laughs> he had the Justin Bieber cut, with a little mohawk and the, and he had the and he had the crisp hairline. 
So Michael, I mean, I let him. I gave him the nigga pass though. So he's still my man. It's like if I I haven't talked to him since then, but if I just ran into him, I he probably he probably be like, "What's up, my nigga?" He probably say that to me. Cause I gave him the pass. So um, Michael, if you still out here, uh, your 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 N word pass has been renewed to Mm-mm. till twenty thirty two. Um, and until further notice. <laughs> But let's get back into the BET performance. One thing that really has to be talked about is the Offset and Quavo reunite. Oh, they was on stage scissoring, talking about some do this shit for the fam, cause this shit bigger than me. Big. And and this is like honestly, since honestly, I me personally, I was feeling. I felt watching that, watching that on the BET, it made me feel like. I don't know because when I was listening to that song particularly, I thought I was the only person that felt like that about that verse. But now watching Offset and Quavo perform it, perform it, I was like, wow, it is, it is a good song. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, but um, it was definitely great to see them reunite. Um, I, they probably wasn't even beefing that much anyway. If it was really over, if it was just over the sweetie thing, you know what I'm saying? I don't think they really was beefing that much anyway. But I don't know. Quavo a little light skin. You know what I mean? Quavo. Quavo is a little light skin, so he might be on that shit. Who knows? But like, it obviously wasn't that serious enough for them to not do this performance. Like, if they would have just like still been beefing, even though like the one person that's like closest to them, like both, is. Like is there, and they had the opportunity to like do a tribute for him. Like that would be kind of messed up that they still would be if it was over Sweetie. That they just wouldn't do it because even because of that, that's crazy. Sweetie, if I see me personally, that situation made me feel like if I ever see Sweetie, <laughs> I got a right hook for for breaking up the greatest group of all time, and I blame it on Sweetie. <laughs> yes, I do. But that that performance was was really good. I cried. Wow, well, I felt like crying. You felt like crying. You just lied about crying and said you cried. I said I felt like crying. You felt like crying or you cried? I didn't cry, but a tear almost came out. See, I'm not gonna lie. I ain't cry. I ain't no punk. <laughs> I said I felt like crying. I don't. I don't never cry. It was just so sad. Like especially because I had just seen that little snippet of. Quavo interview and he was like you know I know that he meant and he was just doing and he was talking about takeoff and he was like yeah I know he meant a lot to everybody else like musically but he was like but that's like my that's my nephew like (laughs) because people really be forgetting like these people are like really real people to them like they're not just artists that passed away like these are like their family and like real people that are close to him. Jeez, man. So it was just sad. It was sad. But it was lit at the same time. Yeah. Do this shit for the fam. Because this shit bigger than me. Big. <laughs> That's how it would have been if I would have been in the crowd. Yeah. Um. Definitely need to get some of that Quavo offset sauce. Because... I don't know. I don't know if anybody. I don't know if anybody used to bump the old Migos, but the, but uh, Offset before he went to jail was get, handling them hot ones and Quavo. And if you would mix that with a little bit of 2014 Quavo, it's just. I wish I, that's the new sound effect I need to add. Chef's kiss. That's what it's gonna be. That's what it's gonna be. Um, also, what else happened at the BET Awards? The Lil Uzi Vert. Do you so to, so so uh, uh, apparently the Lil Uzi Vert and JT situation? You explained it to me earlier. Um, it was basically of you said was that after he performed the song about Ice Spice or before? When well, basically. Did you throw a phone? No, no, no. When basically, I guess. He performed a song talking about Ice Spice, and then I guess anybody else would think it's just a song, you know, Ice Spice is a, a popular character. But then also, you was explaining to me that 
before while while they were getting the seating for the show that JT got lost in the seating or whatever, and Lil Uzi Vert was sitting with Offset, and that's when that I mean Lil Uzi Vert was sitting with Ice Spice, and that's where that picture came from. Yeah, like no, but they were when they first got there, they sat together. Like she was sitting, like JT was sitting with Lil Uzi, and Ice Spice was on the other side, and. That's when I guess like, cause you know they get up and stuff like during the during the performances and stuff. Didn't know that. And basically, Lucy had performed and stuff and was talking about Ice Spice and then she came back and I guess she was saying that she had, well, this is not what she said because she made a whole statement after it happened, but allegedly she had came back and. He was sitting with her and like, and she was taking pictures and it was like being kind of petty, kind of. And he had just mentioned her in the song, mind you. Like, referencing Ice Spice to us would be like, we don't know Ice Spice, but like it's little Uzi. Like, if he mentions Ice Spice, he might have met her for real because like they're both famous. Just like exactly. if Drake mentioned Ice Spice, Drake didn't even have to mention Ice Spice, and she mentioned herself. <laughs> so no, Ice Spice was definitely a OVO groupie for at least three weeks <laughs> on the on the OVO Air Drake tour. Exactly. So, and I guess she had got mad about that, and she threw her phone and called him a groupie. Two, it was two phones and a bitch ass nigga. And who who and, and guess who the, who you know who filmed that? Who Natalie Nunn? Oh yeah, yeah, I know. Isn't that a bitch? <laughs> They should have put a big fat zoo sign on the side of that on the side of the video. Oh my gosh, you should have seen the way it was like a video that Natalie had posted of her like taking a video of Ice Spice, and like you can tell she was just talking to herself like she was not she she only made contact with her one time, and then after that Natalie was like, "I Spice, I Spice, my favorite." <laughs> Baddies. Oh my god. <laughs> they trying to get everybody in Zeus. Zeus is the new Illuminati, man. Literally. Zeus, Zeus, y'all is crazy. Bro, I swear to God, you would have thought you would have thought R. Kelly was having meet and greets at these <laughs> hotels the way they be having these girls. Exactly. It's girls around the whole East Coast nation with baddies with baddies audition East. Part two, episode one in that bio. It don't make no sense. And none of them going to be in the show. <laughs> <laughs> none of all them girls that they showed, all them girls that they showed and all that, none of them going to be in the show. They might pick like, they might pick like one of them for like a special guest or something, but they going to pick like two influences from DC or something. And then like another one from like Virginia. And then that's it. They going to be on the road doing tours, shaking ass, making the bag <laughs> whatever this, this bag is still I mean, the the FBI need to investigate that tour because they I don't know what they selling or what this bag is <laughs> but it's not legal they need to take it from them if that's if this that I don't know I don't know them clubs heavy we need to go we maybe we need to go to the club while they booked or something maybe we missing something maybe they're giving away money or something I mean Maybe they're doing credit scoring. At the club? Yeah, maybe they've they got to be doing some type of service to be getting some type of bag that, this, that well, they're talking about. The clubs, the clubs, when like people, influencers do celebrity hosting, they mm -hmm. get paid to host. And then it's so, like a whole 20 pack. Like it's like a chicken, it's like a family pack of wings. Yeah, and then like, they split it. And that's why they were saying like how they were going to split up the money, and they were saying like who should get more. And mm -hmm. people were, remember how they made that whole argument about how. In, about how Tommy should get in or Roly shouldn't get that they, they should all get paid the same because they didn't even like they're not performers like they wanted to do like it's exposure for them mm -hmm. but they should all get the same pay so basically they, they get a they get a set price the baddies get paid one price by the venue mm -hmm. and that's why they're saying like they're not making it to the bag if they don't go to the venue because they're not going to get paid if they don't come they just fight and not come in exactly 
Man, I swear, I swear, if I was, if I was that, if I was that, whatever plumber guy dude, I would be, I would be like, I would be taxing them just like if they was, if it was a label and they was the artist. I'd be like, yeah, I I'd take my twenty, twenty percent. I take <laughs> my twenty percent cut, and then it's another thirty percent maintenance from for taking care of y'all, and then whatever is left, that's whatever is left, y'all can split that up. That's what I would have been doing with the girls. <laughs> Goddamn, goddamn fighting everywhere, throwing shit at each other. Exactly. Everywhere, goddamn, got to pay $200 smoking fees because cause they smoking in the Airbnb. Right, this ain't no smoking fee. I mean, this ain't no smoking. And they just be like, I'm a baby. Blunts in the, exactly. Like, <laughs> What's they fault? They pick them. I mean, they signed up for it. I guess they, they were signed up for it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I'm saying, like, if Zeus, Zeus can't be mad that they doing that, they picked them. To come on the show, they were smoking at the auditions. <laughs> Hoes was in the line seventeen hours with, with, uh, with, with, uh, with, uh, um, with a with a real estate brochure because they just got that real estate license, and and a bottle of henny, <laughs> uh, a small tank top, and booty shorts, and. Air Force Ones, no socks. That's all she got, and a little pur- and a little purse that she can only fit her phone and two pieces <laughs> of gum in it. That's the, the seventeen hours standing like that in in Washington D.C. You and then you know, imagine being that's you had to spend at least seventy dollars to get down there if you park it somewhere, you catching a ride mm-hmm. or somewhere. Then they probably did not have no free parking. So keeping a hundred, you what you wish you would have went up there. No, <laughs> just but ba- even just based off of like what you just said, like the well, first of all, I would never go up there. But even if it was a real opportunity up there, I still wouldn't go because just like you said about the parking, like it would probably be like fifty dollars to park per hour. Then we gonna have to stay at the hotel. And they said that they was part. They said that they was. They said they were there all day. So, <laughs> and you gonna come out with no money. You gonna come out? You gonna go? You, you you waited fifteen hours, all day. Like you said, hungry. You ain't getting. You ain't. It's the vent, If you get, you can't get out the line. The vending machine, right? You gonna leave your spot. Exactly. Fifteen. Then you gonna get all the way up there. You get in front of Natalie in Tokyo, and Tokyo be like, "Let me see one of you bitches square up, fight, <laughs> fight for your tickets." And that's why, like, I don't even blame like the footage that they be getting of them girls. I don't even blame them for doing that wild stuff because they've been standing in line all day. They be about to crash out. I already made it through all this time, and you tell me to twerk. I'm twerking. That girl said. (laughs) Hoes get a cartwheel. One of the girls did a cartwheel. (laughs) But I swear to God, I swear to God, there's no man on earth. You think there's a man on earth that can make Trey songs? They can do what? That can make them girls do that. And that, and that whole Zeus audition with a Chris Brown concert, you probably think? They was doing it for girls, for the baddies. But I'm saying, like, what other situation can make these women do this? I mean, they was paying $1,000 to take a picture with Chris Brown. With any, type, any way that they wanted to. Remember that? Mm-hmm. So... How many and they pay? were paying a thousand dollars, not him. That's what I'm saying. Whatever I need to do to get paid five a thousand dollars for picture, <laughs> I want it. Sign me up. Sign me up right now. I'm they just want to hear. I wanna take it down. Sign me up. Whatever I gotta do, just charge the people a thousand dollars to take a picture with me. Whatever they want. <laughs> Sign me up. Whatever I gotta do. Sign me up. I'll do it. You want me to wear a dress? Okay. Mm-mm. They, was, they was asking him, like, yeah, t- grab my butt. <laughs> exactly. And he was doing it, though. For $1,000, he better. A, and then as a nigga, they not, even, he not, they not even asking him to do no wild shit. It's just like regular <laughs> nigga shit that niggas would do. Like, he didn't, he, like he, if they just would have went up there, just he would have done right. that naturally. So it's like, that's crazy. That's crazy. So whatever we got to do to get like that, baby. Be Chris Brown. Chris Brown, yeah. Well, I learned how to sing. You got to do it. He has a lot. He has a You should have been started. <laughs> <laughs> you know when Chris Brown started? He was like 16 years old. I'm still I'm still like I'm 16. <laughs> no. I'm a tired body. I'm still 16. 
You can't pass the sixteen. But imagine, do you, have you ever ever have you ever had to lie to somebody about your age? Hmm. You ever lied to somebody about your age? Like yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> guilty. You sounded guilty as hell. What you? I did lie. What, 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 what was it? When I, I was, was like, I was in Florida, and me and my best friend were there, and we had met some people, and they asked us how old we was, and I was probably like fourteen. Yeah, I was probably like fourteen, and I definitely said I was like sixteen. Oh. <laughs> I never said I never was like a minor though, and like said I was eighteen. Okay, that's good. But I was like fourteen, and I said I was sixteen. But sixteen is the legal age. You still are doing that. <laughs> <laughs> and you said you was in Florida. That's the legal age. <laughs> you got damn it. Boy. How did that turn out for you? Matter of fact, don't tell me. I wasn't. I wasn't doing anything at at fourteen. I don't want to know. She's lying, y'all. She lying. She lying. She lying. She lying. I'm dead serious. She, what, which one I'm looking for? But I just, I felt like the older you were, like the cooler you were. It wasn't she more She said, so do like, you love me? I tell her only like, partly. I only love. Like that. It was more so just like, I can't say I'm 14. That's lame. Yeah, I definitely <laughs> did the same thing. I was definitely, I was definitely lying saying when I was 13, saying I was 15. <laughs> and it's crazy because like now looking back, if somebody even just, if they was 13 and lied to say they was 15, I'll be like, I don't, I don't care if you're 13. <laughs> 14, 15. <laughs> Don't matter to me. Now looking back on it, it's just like, man, whatever. Exactly. Now looking back on it, it's like, whatever, press. Um, what else we got to talk about? We got to talk about that. Uh, we got to talk about that. Uh, presidential states. I don't know. Anything mm-hmm. happen in politics? Hey, I'm like, hey, I'm like, Siri. Hey, Siri, what's going on with the politics? What's going on? I'm sorry. I didn't quite catch that. Could you please say that again? Hey, Siri, what's, what's happening in the politics? Let me know what's going on. Here's some news. Dad's hilarious arbitrary goes viral. This 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 is the stuff that pops up. Guys, ain't nothing going on in the world. I'm gonna keep it a G with y'all. Ain't nothing going on in the world. Um, ain't nothing going on over here. We don't have really anything planned. I had a. Did you drop? I get it. Let's shout out. I'm about to wrap this whole up. I'm gonna show you how to do a 30 minute closing. <laughs> uh, I had an interview scheduled for today, but wham pam, thank you, ma'am. He told me he can't. Because my my YouTube isn't monetized, and I know why. Because it says eighty per six, eighty six percent of my viewers are not subscribed. So you mother better subscribe to the channel right now and get this channel monetized so I can have some dope interviews. Because it's your guy's fault. It's your guy's fault that he didn't want to come here to the interview. Yep, I got it off my chest, baby. I said it. <laughs> it's like I'm joking, guys, but I really do appreciate all the love. The damn. <laughs> I really do appreciate all. I really do appreciate all the self. All of the few views I get, guys. It really, really does appreciate me. Um, I doesn't. I don't know why I started this really, and like, and now I look up and I got all this stuff, and it's like I'm in too deep now. I gotta just keep doing it, type of thing. I know why you said you did it. Why? Cause it was like a personal diary for you. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That too, that too. I should have just got a goddamn. Got, I should have got a goddamn piece of paper and a pen. That's what I should have well, got. Definitely would have been cheaper. Definitely would have been cheaper <laughs> than all this stuff. But um, but we in too deep, guys. So. Hopefully, I, I, I'm going to keep using this stuff. I'm not going to not stop using it. So, I guess I got to keep doing this. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, it's kind of. That's what I'm saying. I'm in too deep. So, like, um, if anybody understand, like, if you ever started taking crack and next thing you know, you getting your ass ate for your stuff and, like, you, you, in, a, you in a dirty hotel room, like, then, you know what I'm saying? You understand that type of thing. You know what I mean? So, so just, just kids, this just comes to tell you that, um, 
don't don't dream don't dream at all kids you're too young to dream next you're gonna be dreaming saying you want to do this and the next thing you know you gotta you gotta store credit nigga and <laughs> <laughs> and then that shit is and you and you looking at that shit like you thinking you got a calculator you like damn what the fuck i'm gonna be doing in seven years how i know i'm gonna have as much money in my account a month god damn it so kids don't dream at all <laughs> just just keep going to work. Just keep going to work and and just f- find some cool places to eat at, you know what I mean? Just that's about it. That's probably if that's probably what I would tell myself if I was in high school. To, if I if right now if I had to look back at myself cuz I guess it's getting around that time where I'm like tw- I'm about to turn 23 next month. It's my B day, and we will be reporting live from Philadelphia. Whoop 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 whoop. whoop Another one. Whoop 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 whoop. whoop. Another. One. So we will be coming live from Philadelphia. That is just uh, I don't know why I threw that in there and made that a celebration. I was trying to do a motivational speech, but at the end of the day, what the fuck is motivation? Get get we out. We done. I'm done. This the end. <laughs> this, I'm not motivating you guys. Get the hell out of here. Go do some goddamn homework. Yeah.